Hello everyone, welcome to the course Research Matters and Analysis. My name is Salman Bahu and today we are going to discuss how to read a research article. If you are a master student or planning to do your research thesis or writing a research article or if you are a new entrant to any PhD program in the field of economics, management and business, this video is very useful for you. Because for the starting any research project or thesis on article, reading research article, analyzing research article critically is one of the important step for conducting research method. Remember that the research articles are divided into three or two main types. One is the quantitative type. Quantitative type means like we conduct some regression analysis and empirical work. Uh, second is the qualitative uh, research work. It could be a case study, a critical point of view or different things on that. And the third one could be literature review. In the literature review, we analyze previous literature on the topic and we come up with a new idea and we think that we can extend this future research. Every article more or less is divided into five important parts, which is an international standard of writing or reading a research article these days. Number one, abstract. Number two, introduction. Number three, literature review. Or you can say theoretical framework. Number four, analysis and results. And number five, conclusion. Uh, we will go step by step and we will discuss uh, uh, each part of the articles by taking example of two important articles which are published in a renowned journal and we will see what information is available in the abstract to what information is available in introduction, literature, review, theoretical framework, analysis and research and what how you have to read it. Uh, remember that as a student of research you no need to read each and every word of the article. You have to read smartly, you have to read properly. So if I divide uh, reading these five parts of the article, you have to follow a step by step smart process of reading the articles that will minimize your time period and you will get the actual information, the valuable information which is relevant for you or maybe for your project. So I have divided key steps of reading articles into five steps. Number one step is read abstracts and highlights. We will discuss in this step what is highlights and what is abstract. Number two, identify research question. We will discuss what is research objective or research question. Read conclusion section to understand the purpose and key contribution. Fourth, fourth step, identify theoretical backgrounds. What is the background literature, uh, uh, previous theories has been used to. Fourth, read methodology part fifth results and analysis so i have divided reading an article into five important steps which will minimize your time period which will give you the correct and the actual information which you are looking in the articles so let's we will discuss one by one with taking example of the articles like a practical study like a Instead of a theoretical lecture, I want it practical that if one, uh, when I read an article from where I get the relevant information and how I read the article and I minimize my time period. Okay, so first of all, we take the example of uh, an article. This is my own paper, Corruption in International Business, a review and research agenda, which is published in International Business Review. Remember that in the start, I discussed three more or less type of the articles. This is a literature review article. It analyzes literature on corruption in international business, a review and research agenda. First of all, you have to see the title of the article is very important. Then you can understand, okay, this article is talking something about corruption and in international business. So if you're a student of international business or you just interested to work on corruption, this article is very useful for you. So you have to make a decision that whether this article is important for me, I have to read it, I have to analyze it, and I have to summarize this article, or whether it's not useful. 
so we go here step by step as i tell you um, i will also explain you that uh, how this uh, how to read this thing in the articles so first of all if you go to the journal website and you find this article you can read these highlights remember that the abstract and the highlights are very important part of the article they give you an overview they give you a basic understanding summary within few lines within few words so it minimizes your time that you need to read the complete article or you no need to read the complete article so this thing help you uh, to to reduce and make a decision about the article so if i see this article corruption in international business these are the highlights so if you see it's clearly say from the first bullet point literature review of 137 articles between 1992 and 2019 on corruption in international business so from the first line you can analyze that this is a literature review article it start its work from 1990 2009 so if you think a literature review article is useful for your study you have to read it otherwise you have to make a rejection decision that this article is not useful for my thesis for my article and then it summarizes the key findings like seven research streams are identified in this article this sanitizing the empty sense of corruption discuss the consequences of corruption and they give call for establishing the anti corruption architecture both global and local so these are the key highlights of the paper and by reading the highlights carefully in just few minutes i got the idea okay this article is relevant for me because i'm working on corruption let's suppose the next point is reading the abstract so if we go to uh, the uh, the journal uh, let's let's open the article and uh, we see here uh, the article yes so here is the article i downloaded this pdf file so if you see the first line of the abstract it's clearly say you the purpose of the article we systematically reviewed the literature on corruption in international business 137 articles for last 17 years between 1992 and 2019 additionally we identified seven research team now it's going to the result side because remember that abstract has a very limited space for for the writers maximum 200 words so you have to be very systematic you have to present your objective first line then your um, um your key findings uh, and anything important which could be in the part of the abstract and it give an overview of the paper so it's come additionally we identify seven research team and it's come to the results and then it's finally corruption challenge some key assumption and this and that so in a way by reading the abstract by reading the highlights remember that the highlights are available on the journal website they are not the part of the article after the abstract we every time have an introduction section in the introduction section you can see clearly that uh, it talk the as we say introduce yourself so it is the introduction of the article so here after reading the abstract and the highlights i am agree that this article could be useful for me let's suppose i'm doing my master thesis on corruption in a uh, master in finance master in economics or in management and i think okay this article is very useful now i have decided to go further and read the article so if you see that the second step we have to go into the introduction section and what we have to do introduction is basically like introducing like what this article is doing and remember that in the introduction section you have to identify the objective of the paper what is the meaning of objective over here the research question if we talk about in the research language this is called research question research objective okay and means why we doing this research what is the purpose of doing this research what questions we will answer during this research so i have highlighted for you here this is a brief introduction about uh, the topic okay as it start from corruption is a multidisciplinary subject that scholar from different fields and disciplines have examined and analyze and you have to read the first at least first uh, paragraph of every article to get the idea okay what is the topic and then you have to find out in the introduction section where is the research questions so if you see this i have highlighted also this this is research objectives this literature review is unique in term of its objectives 
and methods and explore several research questions. These are the research questions. Means these authors, these three authors are answering to following research question related to corruption and international business. Number one, what is the domain of corruption in international business? Number two, what are the leading research streams? Number three, what are the most influential prospective in the literature in terms of key journals, articles, method, data sources, measurements, and theoretical framework? How does the literature sanitize corruption in international business? What are the future research directions? So remember that what I want to say you here, introduction is also an important part, but you no need to like waste so much time in the introduction section. Your objective is to just get the feeling of the topic and then find where authors say you clearly this is the objective, this is the research question and this is the purpose of our paper. So in this article, after reading these two paragraphs, I have identified, okay, this is the research question that authors are going to answer in this paper. So this is a one way of identifying the objective. So if you see here, they briefly in one line in the abstract, they explain we are doing this. But in introduction, they given a complete detailed research question that we are going to this, this, this. These are the five objectives. These are the five questions we are going to answer in this paper. Next step. Uh, remember that everyone have a very different uh, way of reading an article. After reading abstract, after reading highlights, title and introduction. And why I read the introduction to read the to get the feeling of the topic. Let's suppose now I understand. OK, it's the, it's talking about the corruption. I understand the objective of the paper. My habit is that I go to the conclusion section. Why I go to conclusion section? Because conclusion section is the broader summary. It's a little bit more, uh, you can say, a big summary as compared to the abstract. But obviously, this is a review article. Its, uh, its conclusion section is very different as compared to the conclusion section of empirical studies. Empirical studies mean where we have some data analysis techniques and uh, we are answering some research question. So the next step, most of the time you need to follow. Um, second step is identify research objectives by reading introduction section. So you have to identify your research objective, clear objective, and you have to highlight those objectives. Third step is read conclusion section. Uh, remember that the conclusion section is consist of following things. Okay, some reader may have a different style, but most of the articles in the conclusion section, you will find these things. Number one purpose. They will also explain, okay, in this study, we conducted this thing. They will explain key contributions. What are the key contributions? Implications. Implication means how you can utilize our findings. Contributions mean what are our contribution in the previous literature. Limitations mean what are the limitations like maybe some research have limitations and we have to mention that and future research directions and how the future researchers can enhance our topic, how they can find out different things. So if I talk about this article, OK, as I explained you, this is an article which is uh, a review based. So this introduction is very different, but still it give you the same thing, for example, if I read here, based on our in-depth review of corruption in international business, so you see we explain first line, the purpose. We have several policy recommendations. Now they have key contributions in terms of literature. Strong international laws are needed to minimize the negative impact of the corruption. These are the implications, like how you can read our findings, how it is useful for firms, managers. Second, firms are the key players in international business. Therefore, managers and the policymakers need to consider corruption when formulating the firm's organization structure, creating strategies to increase operational efficiency and performance. I'm reading this from this article, which I, I have read through the, its introduction. And uh, if I say, you, yeah, this is the same conclusion, which is I provided on the slides. Third, this. And finally, corruption challenge some key assumption of the existing theory of management. Scholars need to test uh, and expand the existing theory for like this is the also future research direction. So as I explained you, this is a good habit to go to conclusion. Now you have a complete picture and a broader picture, a brief picture of 
what going on in the article what are their key contributions what are their purpose what are their limitations what are their implications and what is future research directions now we have to go inside the article but remember that we have to work very smartly to minimize our time and get proper and valid information from the articles the next step is to identify theoretical background and key literature i explain this the third step key literature by reading literature review section remember that here i want to give you an example of uh, empirical study in which uh, this articles talk about corruption distance and fdi flows into latin america so why i want to give you this article because the previous article corruption international business it's a review article and see i will apply the same method before going to third step as a as a student researcher you can apply it. number one what is this the title corruption distance and fda flow into latin america okay yes because my thesis is on corruption so this is a useful article for me and i have to read it so let's go to the article and we see we can apply the same step one and step two and step three on this okay if i go to the article yes here is the article Uh, corruption distance and fdi flows in to latin america this is also published in international business review so if you see as i previously explained you before reading whole and each and every word of the article read the abstract so they clearly say in their abstract their research objective this paper indi- replicates earlier studies within the oli paradigm but also seek to advance our understanding of this relationship by introducing the concept of corruption distance between pair of the countries and applying it to the special context of latin america so what they are doing they are checking the corruption distance effect on foreign direct investment flows into latin america and then these are the findings you can read it these are the findings of the paper because as i explained in the abstract we first present the key objective and then we move towards the key findings because of the limited space number of words 200 250 maximum now i move towards the introduction if i read introduction as i explain introduction is always talk about the topic so if i read the first paragraph corruption is usually defined narrowly as an abuse of public office for personal gain so in the first line they define what is corruption the corruption is reflected in reported measure of the perception of national levels like corruption is reported at national levels so they are giving us the idea to the reader that what is our topic and if i want to find out i can like do a skimming like just reading the paragraph and i need to identify my research question which is the important thing as we discussed in our previous example so if i go there here is the research question like every author have a different way of presenting the research question so in the same introduction section in this sense we extend the corruption that similar notion of the distance metaphor a staple tool of social science in journal and iv in particular physic distance culture distance and recently institutional distance with this new concept to hand we do positive and negative corruption distance to be defined have a differential effect on inward effect so how they presented their research question we are looking the impact of positive and negative corruption distance on fdi inward fdi so here i identified the objective of the paper so you see this objective is like more defined as compared to the objective presented in the abstract or the objective reflected from the title of the paper so first step read abstract read highlights and then find read little bit about the topic and find the research objective which is mostly presented by the authors in the concluding section now we move towards the third step which is used by me i go every time at the concluding section of the article before reading the complete detail i go to the concluding okay here they are presenting the concluding section as a discussion so it's the same thing concluding and discussion you can say you can but the thing is same the detail is almost same Oh yes they also have a concluding section and discussion section so we go to concluding section so if you see from the first line they start in this study we analyze how corruption distance affect fdi according to the source country either more or less corruption than the host country so see in the first line the author explained their objective 
what is the objective of this study what we done previously in the paper and then they provide a complete detail our results suggest that the corruption distance have a negative effect on the fti and this so now they will explain everything they will conclude complete article within this section within number of few words within few sentences so you have to read carefully the conclusion section you will get the understanding you will get the results about key papers and then you will also find as i explain you the implications contributions key results as well as future research directions okay so here you see the line number this paragraph finally this study is important for managers and policy makers these are implications as i explain you previously why we need to read the Uh, conclusion section so you can know that these are the implications like finding of this paper are useful for managers and policy makers and they can implement those findings okay so now we move to our uh, step 3 identifying key theoretical background key literature by leading the literature review so now we go to the section after now i we all you and me have understanding okay what is the key objective of this paper uh, um, what are the key findings what are the key implementations so you have an overview of the paper now you have to go in towards the theoretical part and you can say some paper discusses as a theoretical background some will discusses as a literature review so it's a mix of that when we say theoretical background remember that it's depend on your field of study if you are working in the field of management business uh, uh, international business marketing uh, social sciences mostly we rely on theories but if you working on economics also we have economic theories but uh, in finance mostly we directly check the relationship between variables so if you see when why reading the theoretical background they clearly start their theoretical background that this the study of fti has generally focused on efficiency based on transaction cost analysis the transaction cost theory utilizes transaction as its basic unit of analysis so here you can see that they are using one theory which is called transaction cost theory to support their hypothesis this is an empirical research here they collected some data that could be primary data that could be secondary data and after doing that they applied a transaction cost theory number 2 then you can go and you can read these details they also used another theory which is called dunning's oli paradigm what is oli paradigm it is like called the ownership location and internationalization paradigm uh, remember that because this is specifically talking about international business and topic so my what i want to say you here you have to identify the key theoretical theories key theoretical background related to your topic that could be any topic that could be let's suppose franchising that could be corruption that could be um data science that could be so it's depend on your field of study so this is a way of identifying the key theories get the idea read it but you no need to understand each and every word you no need to read each and every word in the first attempt you have to find the relevant information from these sections which is useful for you uh, next we move this is called the literature review part this is called the past literature review what is literature review this is also a very important question to answer here literature review means that previous work done by the authors for example in this paper they are analyzing 137 articles which published between 1992 to 2019 so between these 19 years they they publish they analyze 137 articles that is past literature mm. so they are analyzing the previous literature and why we always discuss previous literature to support our study and come up with a new idea let's suppose the common way of uh, presenting the literature review and creating hypothesis with the literature review is that we can say in the past literature relationship a and b has been done but the relationship c and d is not evaluated so remember that every time based on literature review we come up with hypothesis here they will also do the same let's suppose this is a hypothesis one host country corruption will have a negative association with inward fti and same they will have a hypothesis 2a hypothesis 2b so it's depend on the on the theory so remember literature review we do based uh, based on past papers published papers and we find out 
new ideas and we say and we support our hypothesis yes what we are doing it is not previously done and also remember that theoretical background you have to identify the theoretical background of the paper so here you see by doing this literature review providing a theory they are come up they come up with a with a theoretical background this is their theoretical background like they come up with a new story and they have provided their hypothesis in the form of this so this is the called the research framework mostly in empirical study this is a tradition right now and it's considered to be very like good to present a theoretical background like what you are doing for our readers understanding we go back to the article the next step is uh, to yes read the method section to understand the methodology method section is also um, a very important section okay and uh, mm, mm, what things you have to see in the method section we go to that place let's suppose from here they start their method section corruption is uh, they, they are discussing that first of all they are analyzing their hypothesis in latin america they are studying the latin american multinational companies okay and uh, if you see they explain their variables and measurement remember that this is an empirical studies we have some dependent variables some independent variables some controlling variables dependent variables that which depend on some independent variables which like suppose here the foreign direct investment is a dependent variable like which depend on corruption so corruption is an independent variable and we also apply some control variables so it's also a good way to present a table providing like okay this is my dependent variable variable name measurement if you see here the sources what are the sources are available here we detail to how we measure these variables so this is also another important thing in the methodology part you have to see that which variable are analyzed what is dependent independent and control variables mostly in the in the study in the field of international business next step is to identify the model model mean what research technique or you can say statistical technique you will apply it's shown by your model so here if you see they presented their model in the form of uh, this uh, equation uh, a, a mathematical equation and here they presented the dependent variable and then some independent variable because they are applying to they are going to apply the regression analysis so this is a common um, uh, regression uh, line and regression equation which is presented by them and they also uh, apply different type of uh, techniques uh, in their method so we will see in the results section so but what i want to say here if you see okay i have to read all these uh, details in a in a short while in a, in a quick way but most important details are already available here which is relevant for me so you have to read the method section from this point of view to come up and to know these exact information and details for your paper the next step is to go into the results and analysis section you can see the tables because if you see here i have presented from the same table first they check the correlation matrix and then they apply the regression analysis random effect applied it by the authors so here they will present clearly the tables table number 1 and then they discuss the tables results in their little section and then they have table number 3 which present the discussion about the results and then discussion section also linked with the theory so that is also important part if you want to go in very depth into the results then you have to read the results and analysis section but important thing is that you know the method you know the results and if you want to confirm the results you can you as i explain you previously we have already read through the conclusion that what we conclude from our over this uh, this analysis so in a way this is an important uh, um, step after this, doing this you have to read the, the results and conclusion section and now in a minimum time period you have covered this article okay this was your first reading okay and then because for writing a research paper for conducting a research you don't need to read you or to read number of articles maybe more than 100 more than 200 so this is the first screening of the article and getting the exact and relevant information from the articles you have to use this technique but sometime you have to maybe on the second round third round when you think okay these 15 articles are very important for uh, writing for uh, maybe some theoretical background or you want to discuss these article in your thesis then you have to read them very carefully maybe 
importantly two three times uh, getting exact information so this is a way of uh, uh, like uh, doing reading the articles uh, and finding the exact information which is relevant for you and this is the way of article what the students when they are new researchers uh, in the masters or also when they are starting phd um, they are always confused they 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 confuse with the length of article okay obviously some articles like 20 pages uh, and like more than 16000 words so they confuse we have to read so big no you no need to put so much effort you have to read smartly and you have to find the exact information which is relevant for you so i hope uh, this uh, video will be very helpful for you it will give you uh, a way a process how to read the article and if you follow this process as, uh, as i come up here if you follow this process it will make your reading very easy okay